So this is the Samsung Wave 3 with the BARDA 2.0 operating system. So I'm going to talk you through BARDA. Just to start with, we've got the home screen. So you've got 10 home pages and then right at the end you have live panels. Now live panels is a page that is dedicated to widgets that show live information and you can customise this how you want. So if you press and hold on these, you've got the option to switch these on and off as you can see. And if we just drag that across, that adds it. You can also add contacts at the bottom to get quicker access to them. Truly customised homepage giving you live information. If we go onto your main home pages, so this is quite similar to those of you that are using the Galaxy products because of Samsung's TouchWiz. If we press and hold, put this into edit mode, you can add any of the widgets at the bottom or any menu, press and hold and you can drag that down onto your home pages. So if we go back, you'll see here we've got a folder. If I press that, that will open up the folder but you do have access to preview that without going in it. So we can drag, sorry, drag down the folder, which gives you preview to the content without opening it. To create a folder, we'll put it in edit mode. You can just drag the item into the folder, or if you press two things at the same time, that automatically adds that into the folder. This is the same in the main menu system as well. As you can see here, we've got a full folder, drag down just to preview. So another new feature to Barda 2.0 is the lock screen. When we lock the screen, you can see you've got live information appears on there. So you've got the clock and the weather and this keeps up to date. You also have voice commands. So if you double tap the menu button, that will up open up your voice commands. Within this, you can send a text message, send an email, update your Facebook status, do a Google search. You also have access to this. And any keyboard as well, so you have voice input. The feature that we just went into there is privacy lock. So as well as having a pin um, to open up the screen, you can have certain features protected within the device so that people can only access certain things on the device unless they have uh, a password. That. A couple of new features as well to BARDA 2.0 is the all share option and you now have Wi-Fi direct for multiplayer gaming and to send information quickly. Social Hub is one of the Samsung features. This is where you have your social networking feeds fed through into one convenient place. I have Twitter on here, you can have both Facebook and Twitter feeding through to the same feed. Here in the top you can see that you can choose which ones you want to go on or you can just have all feeds coming through. On these feeds if I slide you get quick access to respond. So this has been personalised for Twitter because it's a Twitter message come through. If it had been Facebook, you would have the option to like or add a comment on this quick swipe. So this removes the need to have individual applications. All's, all comes through in Social Hub. So it's using a lot less of your battery because it's just one place that's doing it. And they're pushed through to the device as well. Very quick recap on the features of the handset. So it has a 1.4 gigahertz processor. 5 megapixel camera with 720p HD recording and you have the 4 inch Super AMOLED screen as well.